What's going on, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Saturday night, right? Party night, right? Saturday night. Are you out there partying? Uh, it is May 16th, 2020, 9.48 p.m. West Coast time here in Northern California. And uh, taking a look, of course, at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Shows an enormous amount of earthquake activity out here in Nevada. I'm not even joking, folks. I mean, it's it's out of this world uh, with the aftershock activity following that 6.5 quake there. Um, and it's just, uh, it's not going away. It is not going away. And it's uh, looking like we may be seeing uh, this thing go on for quite some time, folks. This here is the one day all magnitudes. If I can freaking, oh my gosh, my neck hurts so bad. Ah. Oh my gosh, I can't, I don't even know if I can get through this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sit at the computer desk and look up, but it's enormously hard. I, I, uh, slept wrong for whatever reason a couple nights ago on my pillow and it's just, it's killing me. I mean, I can't look up. I, it's affecting my ability to uh, look up at the the uh, computer screen. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try, folks, to get through this. But it sucks. Um, this is the one-day all-magnitudes all magnitudes earthquake here. And let's go ahead and zoom in through the uh, area. And you can kind of see the rupture area as it has spread out over about 10 to 15 miles or so. Uh, we're looking at the 6.5 rupture area here in Nevada. 367 earthquakes, so to speak, in this region of Nevada. And um, there's been quite a bit of earthquake activity, obviously, as you can tell, right? And uh, it's this, this has kind of uh, dwindled down, I guess, if you will, to a specific region. Um, over, I guess, last night we were looking at uh, some activity spreading out about 25 miles or so outside of the epicenter. I'll go ahead and bring that up here so you guys can see. Uh, maybe what I'm talking about here. Let's go seven days. Well, that really doesn't help too much. But, uh, yeah, this is a seven-day magnitude 2.5 and above still within about 25 miles or so spread out activity hold on one second there uh, let's see let's go ahead and take a look at the larger magnitude quakes here over the last uh, well this is the last 30 days or so of large magnitude 4.5 and above of course the 6.5 magnitude quake right there in the blue circle um, of course, and that remains at a 2.8 kilometer depth of course quite a few folks filling it all the way down from uh, uh, the Bay Area up into Utah some reports filling it up there as well 5.1, I believe, is the largest magnitude quake striking the area. And that was just north, just north of the main 6.5 epicenter, roughly about two to three miles away. And that uh, 5.1 striking a little bit deeper. In fact, most of these quakes following that 6.5 earthquake have been. Uh, relatively deep and uh, much deeper I should say than the main shaker which is uh, rather interesting there and once again the uh, one day magnitude 2.5 and above showing the uh, spread out magnitudes there west coast folks looking at the west coast here relatively quiet no renewed earthquake activity out here on the Pacific Plate area it's uh, relatively quiet as far as the 2.5 and above goes 
but uh, Nevada, yes, 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 Nevada, still, still pretty active. Let's take a look at globally real quick here, and you can see that there has not been too much activity out here, folks, in the western part of the Pacific. I think only about a 4.5, a little bit, little bitty 4.5 out here on the western part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. This may be a sign that we're seeing activity shift towards the west here with the major plate movement. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Once we see major pl uh, plate movement over here to the west, we will see activity die down over here in Nevada. That's just a given. And uh, we'll have to take a look at that and uh, see, how, see how Mother Nature wants to play it out. A 4.7 earthquake just struck out there. Uh, way, 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 way beyond the Pacific Plate area. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. 4.7 near Bur uh, Burma. A depth of about 10 kilometers. In an area where we've seen um, historical seismic activity relatively high. So this is no stranger to uh, larger earthquake activity out there. But it is the latest earthquake to strike the globe out there. Anyway, folks, um, I hope you guys have a good night out there. I just want to jump in real quick. I mean, I don't want to make this too long of a video. I mean, it's no stranger. It's no obvious. What I'm trying to say is there's no... It doesn't take a stranger to realize that there's activity out there in Nevada, right? You guys can see it. It's pretty plain as day. It's a uh, an area, according to seismologists, within about 7.7 .7 million years or so will be the new plate boundary between the Pacific and the North American plate. Anyway, for now, folks, we'll call it a night. Uh, I'm pretty tired out here. It's a little late update for me, but uh, we're going to bed. Hope everyone has a good night, and uh, please stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys another time.